hey guys now let us see about the portal governor so what is the portal governor a portal governor is a governor which has basically two balls at the each arm extended and a dead weight which is used to make the movement of the sleeves stable so that the supply of the fuel to the engine is maintained and it is also used to have a metric amount of fuel supply to the engine so let us write the definition so definition is a porter governor is a governor or mechanical device which is used to to supply the amount of fuel into the engine as per the requirement requirement of load for the diagram so you can see this is the diagram of basic portal governor which consists of two ball masses mass ball p1 and p2 and extended arm where this is the sleeve this part is the sleeve which moves up and down and this part is the stop which is used to stop the or the limitation of the movement of the dead weight and the sleeve and here the power from the engine is given to the bevel gear and that bevel gear is transferred the power to this rod so which on motion leads to the so when the rotation rotate rotation is given to this rod the extend the arm the masses ball are extended away from the center as the speed increases this sleeves comes upward and as we know that the sleeve is in turn connected to the bell crank lever which control the supply of the fuel into the engine so we will see the when the ro rotation is much faster the sleeve due to the centrifugal force the masses gets away from the center and the sleeve moves up and the uh, fuel is blocked from to, to block to be, to be supplied to the engine and as the speed of the engine decreases due to the increase in the load this ball speed also get reduced and they come towards the axis of the rotation and since they come to axis to the rotation this sleeve moves down and the throttle wall is opened so in turn the fuel large amount of fuel must be supplied into the engine to maintain the speed so we have drawn the fbd of this diagram you can see so this is the fbd so basically this is the arm extended arm here the o here the distance from the apex to that of the ball center that is h and after that from ball center to that of the sleeve is distance a here r is the distance between the ball mass center and the axis of rotation and r and so so here the various forces will act when there is a rotation now we will draw the instantaneous center icr of p1 q1 like extending the p1 and q1 here they meet up so this is the instantaneous center of rotation now here we get two angle theta with the horizontal and beta with the horizontal here w weight of the ball is mg here the centrifugal force exerted on the mass is mr omega square and that of here the mass of the sleeve is sleeve weight of sleeve mg plus minus frictional force of the sleeve which it which in turn it gets while moving up and down and upon 2 and 
here the positive and negative sign resembles that when the sleeve is moving upward upward here we take positive and when the sleeve is moving downward we take negative frictional force in the opposite direction and the other are theta and beta here tension t would be introduced here tension t is introduced into the arm due to the rotation so now let us write the various parameters so the various parameters are here t is the tension in the rod or arm and here theta is the angle between the weight mg to that of the i and beta equals to angle between the weight of mg to that of the q and it is the distance of the sleeve that is qie is the distance of the sleeve so basically we have considered the left part of the governor that is this part fbd so now where i equals to instantaneous center of rotation and here op equals to arm and o let it be b ob equals to distance from the apex to that of the apex of rotation apex that is o to the mass center b here r equals to the distance from the center of the mass to that of the axis of rotation center of mass to axis of rotation and after that and that's all theta and beta we have written the angle between them mg and i beta angle between mg and qi here external force that is frictional force equals to m r omega square acting radially outward that's all now type the angular velocity of the rotation of the sleeve so let us write the summation of moment of forces at i instantaneous center rotation equals to 0 so from the diagram we can see that here m r omega square m r omega square into a here distance a minus mg here mg into distance you can see into distance c minus here mg plus minus frictional force upon 2 into here the total distance is c plus b c plus b equals to 0 now m r omega square into a equals to m g c plus m g plus minus frictional force upon 2 into c plus b so we have taken this part after that right into right hand side so now dividing throughout by that is we need to divide throughout by a we get see m r omega square equals to m g into c by a plus m g plus minus frictional force upon 2 into c by a plus b by a it is small b by a here small b by a 
now from figure we have here tan theta equals to and tan beta equals to c by a c by a and b by a so that is now putting this 1 and 2 in this equation a equation a we get m r omega square equals to m g here you can see tan theta plus m g plus minus frictional force upon 2 into here you can see c by a equals to tan theta plus b by a equals to tan beta that is so this is the equation now from now from figure we can see that here tan theta equals to r by h r by h tan theta equals to from figure r by h and taking this common we get 1 plus tan beta by tan theta that is 1 plus k where the whole term k is tan beta by tan theta now putting them back together we get m r omega square equals to m g r by h plus m g plus frictional force upon 2 into 1 plus k now we just need omega square so taking the omega square out we get omega square equals to 1 by m r into m g r upon h plus m g plus minus frictional force upon 2 into 1 plus k so here r r get cancelled m m get cancelled so the left out r g by h plus m g plus minus frictional force into 1 plus k upon 2 so again further we can write this as g by h we need to multiply up and down by g that is 2 mg plus mg plus minus frictional force into 1 plus k upon 2 mg so this is the angular speed of the rotation of the sleeve